Hey guys, welcome to Unacademy uh, and let's crack Neat PG, the YouTube channel for Unacademy, our Neat PG division. So, where the goal is to get you the top educators, quality content, and to give you a great learning experience. My name is Chatanya Mittal. I am currently pursuing my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. So, I hope you've already downloaded the Unacademy Learning app. And if you haven't, just go to the Play Store and install. You will need an invite code to access all the free content. And that invite code that you can use to access free content is uh, my name, that is Chatanya. Uh, C H E T A N Y A, and you can add 10 after that, right? I'll tell you why this 10 is there. It is because if you purchase a plan, then this code will also give you a discount. So, this code is your solution to buying any subscription on Unacademy or unlocking the free plan. So, as you know, we have the top educators teaching live with us on Unacademy, and educators they are making plus courses for you guys on Unacademy. So, what is a plus course? Plus courses are basically these blocked courses which are available to the subscription but then why am i asking you to download the unacademy learning app because just like on youtube we are making free content for you similarly on the unacademy platform itself we are providing free of cost content and these special classes are absolutely free of cost so take maximum advantage of these special classes and as you can see here that unacademy uh, has live batch courses and not only are these live you can also access the recorded content once the class is over so some students told us that they wanted to ask their doubts. So we have introduced an ask a doubt feature. So your doubt clearing problems are also solved. And for testing, we have special tests. We have weekly tests and regular. We are conducting mock tests. Unacademy has a 34,000 plus question bank. And that question bank is being utilized to test your preparation, right? So Unacademy is now a one-stop solution for all your need PG preparation needs. So you can see what are the upcoming batches or what are the latest batches. Uh, the new list will also be there on the application. So we've started batches on the 1st of March and we have batches for FMGE, NEET PG and INI CET. Besides that, you can take advantage of the free tests which are taken on the application. Okay. So I assure you, Unacademy will provide you flexibility in terms of not only your schedule, not only in terms of your language, but also how many times you can practice, right? Besides that, with online education, it has become slightly difficult to interact with educators. But Unacademy, we have a very robust platform for chatting. So you can chat with the educators. It will feel like you're right in the classroom. And there is an option for interactive polls, just like a teacher asks questions in the class. So we can that can be done in our online classes as well. So you can take the you can take all the benefits of Unacademy if you take an Unacademy Plus subscription where you are given all the live experience, the live classes, the live tests, the doubt clearing, the batch courses, the testing, the structured schedule, right? And there is another subscription called as the iconic subscription where you not only get the benefits of Unacademy, but also Prep Ladder because we have recently acquired Prep Ladder. Prep Ladder has some of the top faculty uh, teaching for uh, various subjects and you have video lectures, you have question banks, you have revision courses and you have the handwritten notes. And these notes will be especially useful for revision. If you buy them separately, they will cost you 7,000 rupees. Here, they're all included in the plan. The one-year plan will cost you 49,500. And there's a two-year, there's an option to get a two-year plan. And that will cost you 69,300. All you have to do is use a referral code that is Chatanya 10. It's a discount code that will give you an additional 10% discount, right? So please use this code while buying an Iconic or a Plus subscription. The Plus subscription will cost you 25,000 and 36,000 respectively, right? So this is how you can apply the referral code. You just go to, uh, on the Android phone, you go to the purchase option and this is where you have the option to apply a referral code and this is where you can also apply credits, right? So that is about the pricing of the Unacademy subscription. Now let's move on to today's topic, right? So I hope you've understood everything about the subscription and if there are any details, you can always inquire, right? So now let's talk about the body water distribution. So what do you understand by the words body water distribution? So it means that your body's total water content, how is it distributed, right? So this is very, very important to know because at times you often get MCQs which are direct one-liners, okay? You might get statement-based questions from this. And it's uh, very important to understand this distribution because uh, sometimes they'll give you a question like this that um, how much so uh, th there's a question that is often seen in uh, entrance examinations that so much so amount of uh, potassium or sodium is given. How much of this will be distributed between the ICF and the ECF? So sometimes you require this data and sometimes you require to know the distribution. 
and uh, one more important thing i want you to tell you is that in general whenever you do all of these calculations you take the average body weight of a man average body weight of a man to be around 70 kg right so but be very careful if there's a different weight given in the question because according to the weight some of these parameters they can vary and according please please don't memorize any values that are in kgs or something you can remember the percentages that's not an issue but um, try to stick to the concept and try to stick to what actually st will stand in the examination right so what is the composition of total body water so one thing that you know is that 60% of the body weight 60% of the total body weight so let's say we have a 70 kilogram man so 60% of that is 42 kg right that will be water 42 kg is going to be water and out of this 40 kg two third of this is going to be intracellular fluid and one third of this is going to remain as extracellular fluid right so remember out of the total amount of water two third of it that is 66 percent of that is going to be is going to be intracellular fluid and one third of that is going to be extracellular fluid out of this one third out of this one third we'll further divide this three fourth of the one third that is three fourth of the extracellular fluid is going to be interstitial that is uh that is going to be there in the that is going to be there in the interstitium and one fourth of the ecf is going to be in the intravascular that is going to be the in the plasma or that is in the blood right now so now you understand that icf is going to be so let's say we have a man and he weighs approximately let's say 70 his volume is let's say 70 liters right so i told you already the man weighs 70 liters what is the total body water 42 liters right so 42 liters is the total body water out of which two thirds is going to go into intracellular fluid so that's going to be 28 liters and almost one third is going to be one third is going to be extracellular fluid so one third means 14 liters is going to be extracellular fluid out of which out of which three fourth of one third is going to be three fourth of one third is going to be interstitial fluid and one fourth of 14 that is going to be your intravascular fluid so 3.5 liters is here and 10.5 liters is here so your total body water comes down to be 42 liters out of which icf is 40 percent interstitial fluid is 15 percent of your body weight and intravascular fluid is five percent right so that 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 is the exact distribution that is going to be there right so now a special point besides this entire distribution there are some special kinds of fluids and those are called as transcellular fluids transcellular fluids now what are transcellular fluids they are first of all composing approximately one to two liters of the fluid volume one to two liters of the fluid volume that is made up by transcellular fluids right transcellular means that they are not present within cells they are not present uh, they're not uh, technically ecf so they're somewhere in between right so they will include main main component is synovial fluid right so besides that pericardial fluid plural fluid any any amount of plural fluid and any amount of peritoneal fluid right so all of these are transcellular fluids that are going to be present in your body cavities okay so other fluid could be an intraocular fluid so you have aqueous humor remember you have aqueous humor so that is also a fluid so now i might ask you a question that the volume the volume of transcellular fluid increases in which of the following conditions and for example you have an option glaucoma you have an option glaucoma so in that case you can go for glaucoma in that case you can go for glaucoma because there the amount of intracellular fluid although intraocular fluid although not necessarily intraocular uh, fluid it could also be the intraocular pressure it's, it's directly uh, we're talking about the intraocular pressure uh, pressure but then that correlates to the amount of fluid so one of the ways this question could be asked is that in which of the following uh, conditions does the amount of transcellular fluid increase and in that case your answer would be right so that's one way to approach this topic the other way that it could ask it could be asked is it could be integrated with other topics and uh, i'm not going to touch on those other topics right now because those are not of relevance but when you study your medicine you will realize that this this fluid distribution is sometimes very important and you have to understand a few values also in these fluids so there are a few ranges that you must know um right and uh, so the, the the important one that i want you to engrave is the values of sodium the values of potassium and the values of ph right so let's put these in your head sodium is generally in textbook it is given as 135 to 145 although i can take a range of 135 to 155 milli equivalents per liter that's that's fine right so that that's going to be a suitable value 135 to 155 now that that is the value for sodium right so 
I'll later tell you one way in which I remembered all of these values. And uh, so, so, so uh, for that, I'll take it to be uh, 145. But uh, certain lab reports will also give you uh, sodium up, up till 155, right? So normal sodium uh, levels in the blood are somewhere between 135 to actually 145 milliequivalents per liter, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll take this as 145 only because this is the more authentic reference. So let me take this as 135 to 145 milliequivalents per liter. Okay. So now if I talk about the normal levels of potassium, normal levels of potassium. So what are the normal levels of potassium in your body? The normal levels of potassium are somewhere around 3.5 to 5 millimoles per liter. 3.5 to 5 millimoles or milliequivalents per liter, right? Milliequivalents per liter. And when you talk about pH, pH is going to be between 7.36 to 7.44, right? So that is the negative log of H plus ion concentration. So those are some of the few values that you can remember. Uh, another range of values that is there is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. And that is again going to be between 35 to 45 mm of Hg, right? So there's a pattern if you see, if I make this pH instead of 7.36 and I write this 0.45, right? If I extend it a little, it does not really matter. So you can see that the sodium, pH and pCO2, these will become a pattern. 35 to 45, 35 to 45, 35 to 45, right? So it's something that you can easily remember and sort of a mnemonic. Right. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. So thank you so much for watching. So with that note, let's end today's class. And uh, I just want to inform you that thank you so much, first of all, for watching the video and all the very best for your examination. And if you like the video, do remember to hit the like button and your likes are an appreciation that I would really, really like to see. And do subscribe to our channel, Let's Crack Neat PG, where we have faculty teaching for all subjects almost and uh, we are adding new subjects, we are adding new faculty and we are constantly making content for you guys uh, that is free of cost and you can also subscribe to our telegram channels. The link for the telegram channels you will find in the description t.me slash let's crack neat pg right and I have uh, another unacademy telegram channel that is at the rate unacademy at the rate unacademy neat pg chetanya right. So you can subscribe to these telegram channels to stay updated about the various classes and do remember to hit the bell icon to receive notifications about which educator is going live when. If you like the video a lot, you can also drop a comment and uh, about the referral codes, there is one referral code that is Chaitanya 10 or also you can use my special class referral code that is SPCM, a slightly shorter one, right? SPCM and using these referral codes, you will be eligible. To unlock free plans on the Unacademy platform, you will be able to unlock all the free content for Neat PG, and you can also purchase a subscription and you will get a 10% off on your purchase. So thank you so much for watching. Take care.